So I looked at WCW Nitro last time, and now let's look at the sequel. WCW slash NWO Thunder. I had hoped that the development team would have learned from Nitro's mistakes and made the game better. They didn't. They they made it worse. <laughs> I'm not sure how, but they made it worse. This is once again made by Inland Productions, and yeah, I I tried. I really, really tried with this one. It seems like the graphics have gotten worse. There are more game modes, but that's like saying, hey, I have more infectious diseases than I did yesterday. And yeah, there are little things that are better, like the use of more live footage, the roster's a little bit different. It looks like they tried to implement this stable system, which doesn't really go anywhere. It's such a weird game. I I really, really tried to like this one, but man, this was so much worse than Nitro. If you like the control scheme for Nitro, then you'll probably like Thunders, or at least you'll be aware of what's going on with WCW Thunder, so you won't struggle too much with it. I did not. I still hate this control scheme. They did include lockups in this, which is different. It still kind of sucks. Everything feels like you're moving through mud. The moves can be just a major pain in the ass to actually do. It's frustrating as all hell. When I played Nitro, I thought that the controls were pretty abysmal. And they've somehow gotten worse with Thunder. The game felt a little bit too fast, and moves just sort of happen. I don't really know how to best describe it. It's like you press the button combination, and the game's like, yeah, you didn't mean to do that. Here's the move you wanted to do. Or it's just, never mind, you're not doing that anymore. Here's what you're actually doing. It was really frustrating to go through this. Even something simple like moving your wrestler around the ring just feels terrible. Like the guy is trying to move through a few feet of mud and there's just nothing going to, like nothing's really working. I, I don't understand it. It's so confusing when I, I picked this one up and I was like, wow, everything was worse than the game that was made before it. It's very strange. So I mentioned there's a grapple system in this game. There are actually three moves that you can do out of like a lockup or a grapple. And yeah, the, I, I really don't like it. Just doing those moves was also a major pain in the ass. There is this kind of fun test of strength mechanic in the game, which I actually found to be kind of interesting that it was there, but it really just was like um, the button mashing that was done for the LJN published wrestling games on the Super Nintendo. I'm really struggling to find a reason to say something nice about this. So Thunder has more game modes than Nitro, so that was fun. You've got a 10-man gauntlet match for the World Heavyweight title, a 7-man gauntlet match for the US title, a 5-man gauntlet match for the TV title. It seems like Inland Productions has no frickin' idea what a gauntlet match is or what a tournament is because they use those two words interchangeably. And it's bizarre. Just really frickin' bizarre. You also have your standard exhibition match. You have a two-player versus match, uh, one-player tag team, two-player tag teams, and then you've got battle royals. And then you also have a cage match. So it's kind of fun that they threw cage matches in there. You still have to play the game to get to them, but you know, it's fun that they're there. So the developers at least tried to improve the game by adding more things to do. Unfortunately, the underlying gameplay is still awful, and only having more awful doesn't improve the game. It's nice that things were tried, but they just weren't very good. There is a huge roster in the game, which is great, and you also have a bunch of wrestlers that you can unlock as well, so that's kind of fun. 
the more I played the game, the worse things actually got. So that was interesting. I very rarely experienced that. There are a lot of moves in the game, but they're the same for every wrestler again. So you have the same basic move set, and then you have a few special moves that you can do. Everything is much more situational. There are weapons in the game, but they feel kind of awkward, and then even the weapons just hover awkwardly in the air while the game is going on. It's so strange to play this. My favorite part of the game happens to be in the manual. Like many manuals for wrestling games, there's a little page in there with a toll-free number for ordering merchandise. It's an advertisement for a bunch of NWO Wolfpack stuff, and a small part of me wanted to call the number to see if I could still order any of it. I really doubt that the number's still active, or it probably got turned into something else. But... Yeah, I thought about it, and then I remembered, no, I don't care enough about it. This is a review for WCW Thunder. I don't need to look up a frickin' 1-800 number to see if it's still active. Overall, this is a pretty terrible game. The gameplay is awful, the controls are unresponsive at times, and it's just more of the bad things from WCW Nitro, which is probably why I always saw this game sitting on the shelves when I was a kid and no one was buying it. However, it does seemingly accurately reflect what WCW Thunder was, a terrible television show. I thought WCW Nitro was one of the better-looking wrestling games that I had played for this whole little series I'm doing, and to go to WCW Thunder, I thought the graphics took a downgrade. The presentation is better, the ring looks better, the crowd looks a lot better, but the character models don't. They just look like really smoothed out versions. I'm not really sure what happened, but they just they don't look all that great to me. The short promos that the characters cut on their select screen, they're still there, which is pretty good. Um they don't really make the game more enjoyable, but hey, at least they're there. You also get little cutscenes where you have live action footage of the character walking down to the ring from the Nitro set, or not the Nitro set, from the uh, Thunder set. And that's pretty cool to see those. I actually wish more video games would use that for the intro, like the actual entrance from the real wrestlers. Because in theory, they should have that footage, but for whatever reason, they just want to use in-game graphics. Today, they that still looks good, but I don't know. I, I kind of would like to see something that's still the live-action footage. I think that would probably look a, a little bit better than anything that they could make from just using the in-game graphics. The graphics in this game are just so hard to really judge. I think overall they've gotten a little worse. The character models don't look as good. But then you have everything else that seemingly looks a lot better. They've got more footage that's inserted into the game, which looks really great. You've got more pictures of the wrestlers that look really good. I think the video on the um, character select screen doesn't look as good, but it's still cool that it's there. It's very strange because there are parts of this game where I'm like, wow, that looks way better than what WCW Nitro was. And then you see the character sprites and you're like, okay, that doesn't look as good. Like, they're just not as detailed. They're still very smooth and they look better than what they, than what they had with uh, WCW vs. The World. But no, they don't look better than Nitro. It's very strange to see. Unless a miracle happens, I think it's pretty safe to say that WCW and WO Thunder is the worst wrestling game on the PS1. Again, I have to apologize to The Simpsons Wrestling. I didn't think I was going to find two games that I disliked more than these two. It just it has horrible controls, terrible gameplay, there's no story involved, it's just not very fun to play. This isn't just one of the worst wrestling games I've played. 
I think Thunder is one of the worst games that I have ever played. It really is that bad. There is probably a greater story behind this. Uh, WCW uh, Nitro got delayed by THQ, and I think they should have probably delayed Thunder as well, just to give Inland Productions a chance to try to make this thing better. At some point, I would really like to do a deep dive into both THQ and Inland Productions, just to see what was really happening there. And I might do that at some other time, but for right now, I just kind of want to get this one over with. So, yeah, that's going to wrap things up. I don't know how to end this, so just let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will talk to you all later. Bye.